how to preserve SM BIOS structure during AMI BIOS update. This video shows you how to preserve SM BIOS structure when you update AMI BIOS. What is SM BIOS? System Management BIOS defines standard structure for accessing management information of the BIOS which may be used by an operating system. It was developed by Distributed Management Task Force and contains parameters such as BIOS vendor, version, and BIOS ROM size. Please always back up your data before updating the BIOS to prevent data loss. And if you have made previous changes in the BIOS menu, please take a note of the settings as your settings will be lost after the update. Before you start the BIOS update procedure, Please see the video How to Update AMI BIOS in UEFI Mode on DFI Products in our Knowledge Base and Prepare a Bootable Drive in the BIOS file. Set the Boot option to Boot to UEFI Shell. 1. When the system starts, repeatedly press the Delete key to enter the BIOS setup. 2. Using the arrow keys, select the Advanced tab and then CSM Configuration submenu, and then disable CSM support. 3. Go to Save and Exit, select Save Changes and Reset to save your changes, and exit the setup utility. Or you can simply press F10 to save and exit. Prepare a bootable UEFI drive. 1. Create the slash EFI slash boot directory on a FAT32 format USB drive. 2. Download the EFI boot files and save these three files in the above directory of the USB drive. 3. Save the BIOS update utility and the BIOS file in the above directory. Update the AMI BIOS and preserve SM BIOS structure. Now we will start updating the BIOS on the device. Don't turn off the computer while the update is in progress. Interrupting the process will damage the board. 1. Insert the USB drive into the system that requires the BIOS update. 2. Restart the system. 3. The system will boot to a shell prompt. 4. Find the device number for the removable hard disk. 5. Type in the device number in brackets as shown here, and then press Enter. 6. Type in the command as shown here to go to the directory that contains BIOS files and the update utility. 7. Type in ls and then press Enter to list all the files in this directory. 8. Find the name of the BIOS file. 9. Type in the command as shown here at the prompt and then press Enter. 10. The utility verifies the BIOS file and starts updating the BIOS. 11. The BIOS update is complete when no error messages are displayed and the cursor is at a new line with the command prompt. 12. Unplug the power cord to completely power off the system, and then reconnect the power cord back. Contact us at inquiry at dfi.com if you have any questions.